we begin with a search for survivors in that deadly plane crash. Two sightseeing planes colliding in the sky over Alaska, killing at least four people, injuring 10 others. Will Carr is in Anchorage with the latest. Good morning, Will. Good morning, Robin. People flocked to Alaska to take in the state's beauty. That's exactly what more than a dozen people were doing from the air on vacation when something went tragically wrong. This morning, crews are frantically searching an isolated and rugged part of Alaska for two people after a mid-air catastrophe. Two planes did, in fact, uh, collide at mid-air. The death toll from that crash jumped overnight. And I'm deeply saddened to advise that four princess guests that were on an independent tour, along with the pilot, did not survive the accident. The Coast Guard confirming at least four dead, all aboard a sightseeing float plane called a de Havilland Beaver. Ten others had to be rescued after the Beaver and another tour plane crashed in the wilderness. The aircraft were found, uh, both of them in the water. You can see crews racing a stretcher up a dock in nearby Ketchikan. The survivors were rushed to the hospital while rescuers combed through a massive debris field. Ketchikan in the summer is kind of a hornet's nest of float plane activity with people taking off and landing constantly going out to see the sights, especially when the cruise ships are in. Both planes were packed with passengers enjoying a seven-day vacation on the Royal Princess Cruise out of Vancouver. Prince's Cruise is telling ABC News, we are incredibly distressed by this situation and our thoughts and prayers are with those on board the planes and their families. The 10 people who survived were on a single engine otter like this one operated by Taquan Air. In a statement, the company says, we are devastated by this news and our hearts go out to our passengers and their families. Taquan Air is known for adventure flights across Alaska's cascading frontier. Just last year, the Coast Guard had to sweep in and make a dramatic rescue after one of the company's planes crash landed into the side of a jagged mountain. This morning, Taquan Air has suspended its operations. The big question now is why? The NTSB has launched a GO team that will be on the ground a little later today. At the same time, a number of Good Samaritans are getting a lot of credit for helping save some of those survivors' lives. George. Could have been worse. Okay, well, thank you very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.